Today in this video, you will learn how to create online surveys or questionnaires using Google Forms for your research. It is time consuming and needs much effort to manually prepare questionnaires, persevering yet patience when collecting the questionnaires. With this booming technology, I am going to show you how you can use the Google Forms questionnaire tool to build your questionnaires easily. Google Forms can make and obtain statistics faster as it will automatically compute the data received from the Google Forms and create a chart automatically for you. After watching this Google Forms tutorial video, you can make any survey and compute the data easily. The Google Forms interface is intuitive and easy to use. Follow the steps in this tutorial to make complete and professional Google Forms. Step 1. Create a Google Forms questionnaire. Follow this link to go to the Google Forms website. Once you've signed in the Google Forms, click on plus to add a new form, and it will direct you to the next page. Now, I am opening my questionnaire which I have created in a Word document. In this questionnaire, I have some demographic questions. Then I have questions about my independent variable on 7 points like its scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Then I have questions on the moderator. At time 2, I have a mediator and moderator. And at time 3 I have questions related to my dependent variable. All variables are measured on a 7 point like its scale. I have arranged my questionnaire in sequence according to my research model. Step 2. Edit the Google Forms questionnaire. Here, I will write the title of my research. After that, I am writing my form description. In Google Forms, you can not only create questions but also insert images, videos, and divide the form into sections. Use the toolbar on the right. Now I am gonna add the logo of my university. Click on Add Image. Select the logo and the logo is uploaded. I am giving the name of the university here. Now I will add demographic questions one by one in the form. Google Forms provides different question types. To select the appropriate option, click the drop down menu next to the question field. Short answer is convenient to use for short answers in a few words. I will copy organization name from the questionnaire and paste it here. Each question has a checkbox option to make this a required question. Use this only if the information truly is essential. To add other question, click here. Now I will just add all demographic question one by one. In case of gender, I am selecting multiple choice option, where one response from many may be selected. Same goes with the age group. I am done with entering all demographic questions. Now I am adding next section. Insert section by clicking on add section icon in the menu. Adding sections is useful if the questionnaire is too long or contains questions that can be combined under one topic. You can add a title and short description for each section. Choose multiple choice grid for providing a response from 1 to 7. This question type creates a grid in which the respondent can select one answer per each row. Now I will add question related to my independent variable first. Add first question in row and then add the responses in column. I am adding strongly disagree. Disagree. 
somewhat disagree. Neutral Somewhat agree, agree, strongly agree respectively in each column. Now I am adding all questions related to independent variable in each row. After that I am duplicating this question as I am measuring each variable on same 7 point like its scale. I will write the statement for my moderator. After that I will remove all questions and just copy the questions of moderator. After this I will add another section in the questionnaire. I will duplicate the previous section and make changes accordingly. Now I will add questions related to mediator. Now I am adding questions related to moderator. After adding this, at time 3 I have dependent variable. So I will add another section in the questionnaire. I will duplicate the previous section and make changes accordingly. I will copy all the questions of dependent variable. Now I am done in making questionnaire in Google Forms. Click on preview icon. You can use it to check your form before sending. It will open in a new window and will look the way respondents would see it. You can also add themes to your questionnaire of your own choice. Click on customize theme icon. Pick an image for a header. Select from the templates or upload your own. Choose theme color, background color, and font style. Now I am gonna tell you about settings. In general settings, if you want to collect your respondents' email addresses, tick the corresponding checkbox. This way, the user who receives your form will first see the box at the top. Other questions won't be visible until they enter their email. You can also opt to limit responses to one response per user. This will help avoid irrelevant results. Each user will be able to submit only one response from their Google account. 
also select whether you want your respondents to edit the form and see text responses. In presentation settings, set the appearance of your presentation and also enter the confirmation message the user will see after submitting the form. To send the form click on send icon. Here you can send form in multiple ways. You can send your question here as an email. As a link or as an HTML code. You can also share it as a post on Facebook or Twitter. You can also send the forms on WhatsApp. Just copy this link and share it with respondents on WhatsApp. After you've sent your form, it's only a matter of time before people start responding. To access these responses, simply open your form and click the Responses tab. Here, you'll find the results from everyone who's responded so far, along with several options. This is my old questionnaire on which I got responses. I have 347 responses here. And you can see the results in the form of pie charts and histograms. I hope you have understood how to create online surveys or questionnaire in Google Forms. Stay 